Well, Carl, great questions about creativity. Now I'm going to try and answer them. As soon as I think about creativity, I realized I was also thinking about innovation. And I think we make the mistake often, now that I think about it, to equate creativity with innovation, which of course can be true, but I think lots of creative things can happen that don't need to be creative. I think every one of us have inside us this urge to create, whether it's music, writing, art, dance, pottery. I think it's a basic human urge. And honestly, some of the things that people create aren't very innovative or particularly interesting, but they are creative because it taps in on that urge to express yourself in another way other than what normally happens in the normal run of life. So I guess that's what I think creativity is. It's that ability to express something that's maybe more akin to a soul or that which is inside you that isn't easily expressed in the normal walk of life. I've got some notes here about your questions. The second question, ah, my creative process, there's no pattern. It can be very sudden, it can be long term, it can happen a bit here and a bit there, and I'm talking about music in particular. Uh, in the ideal, and it's happened just once, twice actually, in my life, where I have written a song or a piece of music spontaneously, and the whole thing has come out in one go. Like if it's a three minute song, it took three minutes to create because it just came out. So they're unusual, those kinds of moments, but they're the ideal. Usually it's more about writing things down, playing a little bit of a melody, coming back to it a week later, three weeks later, maybe you join pieces up. It really is quite random for me and there's no pattern and I know that having spoken to a lot of musicians it's the same there is no pattern all I know is that I need to have time to listen to other music to think about other music and what I like and what I could do and I need time to play and experiment so there's kind of three preconditions for me that need to exist before I can create anything. Who are some examples, I think, of uh, creative musicians? Well, I'm going to choose one that you might know, and because of the Portuguese language connection, there's a woman called Maritza, she sings Fado, she's from Portugal, and she's magnificent, and her creativity, in my opinion, is the ability she has, and this is the way I know her most, which she performed here in Adelaide. I had never seen anyone so able to extract every last bit of emotion out of something that was extremely sad, extremely happy, very, very slow or very upbeat and quite rocky. Whatever the mood was, whatever the feeling being expressed, she was just so engaged with her performance, she lived the song to such an extent that you know, she lived every bit of emotion and she made you feel it. Another example I'm going to use is one that's a, a lot more widely known, it's the Beatles. Anyone who ever tries to play the Beatles music will understand very quickly that it's not simple. There were a couple of Beatles songs that were quite simple, but one of the reasons they were so successful is that they were extremely creative in the way they wrote. It was pop music, but it was pop music with a twist. There's always something in a Beatles song that you don't expect that's a little bit different, that's often the hook. So, Maritza the Portuguese Fado singer, and the Beatles. Thank you, Carla, for asking these questions. It was a good exercise to think about them. I hope they're useful.
Bye.